to The Voice. Today we have a special guest. His name is Mike Johnson and he received a scholarship this year. Let's give it up for Mike Johnson. Well, hello. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Mike Johnson, 21. I'm a sophomore at the University of North Texas. Oh, really? I hear that you're on a scholarship. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I am on the United Negro College Fund. I received it coming out of high school, and I've had it now for about two years. How wonderful. Let's have a round of applause for Mike. <laughs> you're too kind. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have any idea why you're here today? No, ma'am. But of course, I couldn't refuse this opportunity. You know how good this will look on my resume? <laughs> I see how this is I definitely did. Well, today, you're here because Mitt Romney, potential president Mitt Romney, is trying to take away minority scholarships. He feels that they make our nation look racist and that people should only be given education if they can afford it. So today, you're on The Voice to let Mitt Romney know and the audience how you feel about this. Well, personally, I feel like Mitt Romney is taking this a little bit too far. You know, some of us really rely on these minority scholarships to take us to somewhere we've never been before. And I think being a minority myself, I feel like when he takes this away from us, he's taking an opportunity for us to better ourselves with an education. Well, some people that are not of the minority feel that these minority scholarships are reparations for racism and slavery. How do you feel about that? Well, personally, I feel like it's not racism. It's just giving those who were not given the chance an opportunity. You know, it's not like there's other scholarships out there that white people can get. And these ones just happen to be more specific to us who may not be as opportune as these white people. That was very well put. And there you have it, folks. His voice has been heard. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to The Voice today. We have a guest, he is a recurring guest, and we are checking up on him and see how he's been doing since Mitt Romney has been president. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please welcome back Mike Johnson. <laughs> nice to have you back on the show, Mike. <laughs> please have a seat. Welcome back to The Voice. Why don't you update us on how you've been doing? Well, you know, man, I've just been living that life, you know. You know, just been doing what I can do, you know. You know, you feel me? You feel me? You know, just been, you know, you know, you know, just doing stuff, you know. You feel me, though? I, I think I feel you. You, you, you feel me? Are you working? Nah, man, nah, man, I ain't got time for that. Nobody got time for that, man. You know me, you know, just trapping in the streets, you know, doing what I gotta do to make that paper, you know, support my three children, you know, and then my other three children, you know, and then them other three kids who I don't know, you know, you feel me? So is it safe to assume that you are no longer in college or are you taking fewer hours? Please Man, tell us. I ain't even doing that school stuff no more, you know. You know, after your boy Mitt Romney, you know, became president and stuff, you know, trying to take everything from a brother. You know, like back in the day when they took everything from us, you know. They trying to take something from a brother, so you know, I gotta be out there in the streets now, you know, trapping, you know, tripping with these sad chases and everything, you know, grinding, you know, like my the Ricky Rose, you know. Huh. You know how it is. It is. Ricky Rose, is that your father? Does nah, man, nah, father? man. That's that boy Ricky Rose. Rick Ross, the boss man. You know, you know how it is. Rick Ross, the boss man. You know, that dude with the dream. You know, like that the dream chasers, Mickey Millie. You know. Oh, I, I do know. I do know. So, how do you feel about your new circumstances? Man, you know, you know, just trying to live that life. You know, out here, you know. Tricking with these sack chases, you know, trapping these kids out here in the street, you know, just trying to do what I gotta do to survive, you know. Okay. Feel me? So I assume you're working, you're not working? Nah, man, you know, brother's just trying to make this quick money, quick cash, you know, trying to start this business, you feel me? An entrepreneurial type thing? Yeah, 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 entrepreneur, yeah. It's a big ass word, you know. What, what's the name of your business, if you don't mind me asking? Man, none of you. That's a very interesting name. <laughs> man. Crazy. You feel me? Well, I think I'm about done 
feeling you today. Is there any last words you'd like to share before we yeah, close? Yeah, yeah, man. I'd like to shout out to all my baby mamas, you know, Shaniqua, Shalanda, Shamuster, Shanene, all of y'all. Shout out to all my kids, too. Hey, all my homies, look out for my new mixtape coming out, Ass and Titties. <gasps> oh, and no, ass and titties that's enough. <laughs>